line circuit is now open to St. Joe. We'll soon be receiving our first message over Pioneer Telegraph. This. It's exactly 12 noon. Look out, Rita! can't answer that message, you know. Then we're through. We'll never string the poles at Twin Bluffs in time to win the franchise. That blast was set off by electrical impulse from St. Joe. We can receive and send messages almost within sight of Twin Bluffs. But we can't prove it without a receiving unit. Through this demonstration, I hope to convince the commissioner to give us an extension on the deadline. Wouldn't he grant it if we could convince him that this unit was deliberately tampered with? Right. Two weeks is all we'd need to complete the line. I could draw up a survey, showing exactly where we are and what remains to be accomplished. And I could draw up a letter explaining exactly what happened. George Crane is Twin Bluffs' leading citizen. Rita, we could get him to sign it. It's worth a try, Ken. I think Mr. Crane would back us to the hilt. All right, then it's settled. You and I each have a job to do. Let's go. receive our initial test message from St. Joe. Well, that's terrible. Can't the unit be repaired? Unfortunately, it's a total loss. I've written a letter to the St. Joe Commissioner asking him for a two weeks extension of time to meet our franchise. You've been about the only friend hereabouts that Pioneer has had, Mr. Crane. Your signature on that letter will go a long way towards guaranteeing us the help we need. Well, I've always been happy to help, but I don't see how my signature can be of any influence with the Commissioner. Perhaps not by itself, although you are well thought of in St. Joe. But I've prepared a detailed survey of the route to back up our request. Miss White will take it with her to St. Joe on the afternoon stage. Time is short, Mr. Crane. Will you sign the letter? Why, uh, certainly, Miss Reed. There you are, Miss Rita. I hope that does you some good with the commissioner. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'm sure it will. Time to get to the stage office, Rita. What about the survey, Matt? Well, I'll pick it up at camp and meet your stage at the pass. All right. Thanks again, Mr. Crane. Don't mention it. And uh, good luck. So long, Crane. made you sign that letter? There wasn't much else I could do under the circumstances. Something I could have done if you'd given me the chance. You'll get your chance. That girl better not reach St. Joe with that letter. Don't worry. Stopping that stagecoach will be a cinch. I hope stopping Ken Mason will be a cinch. He's on his way to their camp for that survey, man. We'll have company. While I'm heading off the stage, I'll see that some of the boys drop in on Mr. Mason. Got here just in time. Fan out. Hold it, Mason. What's this all 
about? You'll find out. First, we'll relieve you of that survey man. All right. I'll relieve you of that. Stage right on time. Get set. Put down that jet. I'll do the asking. What are you carrying? Just some explosives. Confined to the capital mine. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the girl. You've got a letter addressed to the commissioner in St. Joe. How do you know that? Never mind. Let's have it. <laughs> now, will you hand over that letter? Mike, take it away from her. She's stolen. Get away from her, she's stolen. Ken Mason! <laughs> <laughs> 